Have you ever wondered why the ocean is salty? An intriguing question, isn't it? And an essential one too for understanding the vast ecosystem that thrives beneath the ocean waves? So let's dive into this salty mystery. You see, the saltiness of the ocean or its salinity is primarily due to the presence of salts in the Earth's crust. These salts are composed of various minerals that are essentially the building blocks of our planet. When rain falls, it erodes these minerals, carrying them to rivers and streams. These water bodies then act as nature's conveyor belts, transporting these tiny particles on a long journey towards the ocean. Over countless centuries, this consistent erosion and transportation process has given our oceans their distinctive salty taste. It's a complex yet beautiful natural phenomenon that's been unfolding since the dawn of time. So, the next time you taste the salt in the ocean water, remember it's a centuries-old tale of rivers carrying minute particles from the Earth's crust. But not all oceans are created equal. So, which one is the saltiest and why? The answer, my friends, lies in a spectrum of salinity that varies across our planet's vast oceans. You see, the Red Sea takes the crown for being the saltiest. This is largely due to its high evaporation rates and limited freshwater inflow. The relentless sun beats down, evaporating water and leaving behind an abundance of salt. With few rivers flowing into it, there's little freshwater to dilute the saltiness. On the other end of the spectrum, we find the Baltic Sea. This body of water is one of the least salty oceans, thanks to a large input of fresh water from numerous rivers and precipitation. The fresh water influx dilutes the salt, creating a much less salty environment. So, the level of saltiness in an ocean can tell us a lot about its geographical location and climatic conditions. Now, you might be wondering, can we drink this salty ocean water? Well, the short answer is no. Drinking salty ocean water is more likely to dehydrate you than hydrate. That's because your body needs to use even more water to flush out the excess salt. So, ironically, drinking ocean water can leave you thirstier than before. But what about swimming in the salty ocean for a long time? Is it harmful? Generally, it's not directly harmful. Many people find the buoyancy of salt water quite enjoyable actually. However, for sensitive individuals, prolonged exposure to the salt can cause skin and eye irritation. It's always a good idea to rinse off with fresh water after a good swim in the ocean. In conclusion, while the salty embrace of the ocean can be quite invigorating for a swim, it's not quite as refreshing to drink. The ocean's saltiness comes with its own set of consequences. So, we've unraveled the mystery of the salty ocean, but let's summarize what we've learned. Our oceans are salty due to the constant erosion of rocks on land, carried by rivers into the sea. These rocks release salts which make the water salty. The salinity or saltiness of the ocean varies from place to place. The Red Sea, for instance, is particularly salty due to high evaporation rates and limited freshwater inflow. Now can we drink it? Not directly, as the high salt content is harmful to us. However, with desalination technology, we can remove the salt, making it safe to drink. Is it harmful to swim too long in these salty waters? Not really, unless you have open wounds or sensitive skin. In fact, the salt can even be beneficial, offering natural exfoliation and skin cleansing properties. And that's the salty tale of our oceans. Next time you're by the sea, you'll have a whole new appreciation for its salty charm.